What's the word? What's the word? This is your boy Landon coming to y'all again with another banging video. Yeah, I know it's dark. Look like I'm a shouty to see my eyeballs and everything like that. But anywho, I just got some stuff on my mind. I had to drop it and everything like that. <clears throat> so I'm up here outside chilling and just thinking about everything that's going on in my life right now. And it's like I'm a rock in a hard place. And once I sit back and think about everything that's going on in relationships, marriages, families, and just people who's growing up daily, it's what I came to a conclusion to. There's more broken homes than homes that's functioning right. And what I mean by that, it's a lot of women out here who's having babies and they got to go through all these docs appointments by themselves. They have to make sure that, you know, they health and mental state and all that stuff alone. And, but it's like us as men, you figure we can help make the baby, why can't we help take care of it? And then we worried about why these women so independent and hate men and have and rebellious towards us. It's because we ain't going up as men to make sure we taking care of our responsibility. Yes, I know it is some men out there who does take care of their responsibility, but they still come up short. And that's me, you know what I'm saying? I make sure my kids are still taken care of. You know, I got I got five kids, you know, and I got three with one with one woman. Uh, and two or two other different women. So, you know, I got I got three broken households and that's five kids. Yes, I'm in all their life and everything like that, but at the same time, I started over twice after I had those three with different women. Thought everything was gonna work out. And now I sit back as a man who's getting older, I'm thinking like, dang, you know what? Sometimes you gotta stick it out to work it out. But sometimes you just can't. But even though it sounds simple to do, and simple to say, oh, you gotta stick it out, you gotta work it out, you gotta stick it out, you gotta work it out to the end of the day, is that I got feelings, they have feelings. And everybody gonna say, I did you wrong, you did me wrong. But once we move on, then somebody who got the messed up feelings is gonna say, I'll take you back. But the other one won't take you back. It's probably already too late. So the only thing I just wanna just spread the positivity is, if you got to do this stuff alone, just do the best you can and lead by the example. And what I mean by leading by example is, you know, don't complain about what you got to go through. Just do it, you know what I'm saying? Just like my situation and stuff like that. You know, I gotta pay all the bills and stuff in the house and I'm not getting no satisfaction or anything like that, no love, no kisses. Um, I'm in the process of going through a divorce and everything like that. But what I gotta do is lead by the example. Make sure the bills and stuff uh, pay and to the divorce is over. I'm in the process is right now of, uh, you know, looking for me a place. So once this stuff going go through, you know, be cool. And it's up it's up to her to determine where she's gonna go. That's either she's gonna start working, she's going back on her parents, that's the decision she has to make because you figure it's always two decisions. You can do it. Take list three. You figure the decision for me to stay to leave and get treated like this is her decision to forgive me for everything we've been going through and try to make this work or just a decision that both of us go apart, go our own ways and just make sure we're the best parents we can be for our child. Either way it goes, every decision, there's always consequences to it. There's always going to be some broken hearts. There's always going to be somebody who feel like they got less of in the relationship. And it's always going to be somebody who's just bitter about it. And another broken home. But at the same time, most is love there for the children. There's love there for yourself and you can move on and still have your heart open to love. There's always gonna be a better opportunity from your mistakes or you can't even say mistakes from your lessons that you learned from your last previous mistakes or whatever situation you was in to better yourself. So if you give up too quick, you really didn't give it opportunity. If you stay for too long, you just hurt yourself. So what I'm saying is really no easy way to walk away but everybody say this i'm glad when it's over but when it's over some people wish i could start back at one to fix everything but at the same time the only thing i can say to it is pray i know i say that on a lot of my videos you gotta pray pray again and literally let god lead you the way because even though you feel like it's the end of your road you might just have to 
let it be the end so God can just move you back into where he needs you to be at. So, it's really no one topic that I'm talking about right now. It just literally, a lot of things will cross my mind. And, you know, just I thought I had a shit. But, you know, I'm, I'm very proud of all the women who did do it alone wouldn't, without the fathers being there. I know that's a hard journey you got to do, a lot of sleepless nights and everything like that, but keep on doing the good work. And if you are about to have your first child and you got to do it alone, just, just know that there's someone always out there that's gonna love you for who you is. There's somebody out there who do love you. I love you, God loves you. You know, Television Talented loves you. You know, just spread your word, your positivity, your encouragement to the next person who might be in your same shoes, you know. I sit back and I look at my life right now. I'm 26 years old. I've been in every situation you can think of. You know, I sold drugs. You know, I shot at people. I did things that, you know, I'm not proud of, but I made it through. So if you can't really make it through, then what you really want to do? We got to make mistakes to make the right decision. It's like when you think of a biblical term, that's why you got to go through trials and tribulations. I go through all the time of stuff. You know, I even go back deeper from when I was a child. You know, growing up in a home, where I was broken. You know, yes, my mom and dad was there at the same time and a part of time, but then you figure my life had a shift to I was only living with my dad and my mom, you know, she had to do what she thought was best to make sure she was taken care of. I'm not mad at my mom, you know, because we all got decisions to do. I just wanted my mom to know that, you know, I love her, I still need her in my life, and she's still a beautiful person. And then, you know, I can go back further when I've seen the first person in my life, you know, get killed and everything like that. That's how I get traumatized at a young age. I was even uh, molested as a child by an older woman at the age of nine. She was 16. So you figure, think about how that plays a part of my, of my whole journey in life. And certain things I just didn't understand. So I thought I had to solicit women and manipulate them for sex and everything like that because that's the only way I can show love to them. The story goes on, and the story is never finished. Only time your story is finished is when you in that box and they're running you down. But your story is never untold as long as you can tell it. But it is untold if you don't tell it. So this, I got a story. You know, my name is Landon Prater, and you know, a lot of people thought I was going to be a failure. I done a lot of things a lot of people didn't think I was going to do. You know, I made it to the top of my class. I graduated a year early. I was good in sports. I had over 75 cars at the age of 26. From, you figure, Mercedes, Escalades, to Durangos, to Cutlasses, to whatever you can name, I pretty much had, you know, every make and model almost, besides a uh, Range Rover and a Porsche. But I'm finna get those, though. Those on my list and everything like that. But every time I doubt on myself, God opened up a door to let me know that I'm blessed. So, Walk in your blessings and not in your curses. Because if you curse yourself, God ain't gonna bless you. Because first you gotta accept your blessings from God and bless yourself by worshiping Him so doors can stay open for you. But it's just a lot of stuff, you know, what goes on. I can go on and on about this stuff, but I just wanna get you a point out. Stop creating broken homes. Stop letting the devil creep in and turn apart what God blessed you with. Stick by each other and stay strong. And if you are doing it alone, do the best you can because it's never going to be easy. You know what I'm saying? It, it's going to be people out here talking greasy to you because they jealous of what you got. They jealous of what you represent. They jealous of what you've been through because if I tell y'all my whole story, y'all gonna be like, I would never guess because I don't look like what I've been through. You know, if I told you that, you know, I suffer depression and anxiety and ADJD and stuff like that, would you really believe me? Probably not because I don't look like that. You know, a lot of people want to judge you how you look. Oh, that, that dude look crazy because I got dreadlocks and, you know, my eyes always red. You know, I could have, you know, black blood or something like that. But, you know, we always quick to judge a book by its cover before getting to know somebody. So, stop judging, ask more questions, and support people because we all going through something. Nobody's in this world better than nobody because my situation might be worse than the next person's situation or vice versa. But if they help me to and I help them, we help each other to move forward to be the better person, we, the best people we can be in this life. Because life is never promised tomorrow and it's not guaranteed today. So make the best that you can today. Just know God's always here for you and 
tomorrow's is going to come with or without you. And that's the scary part. But, you know, I'm, I've been on here for a minute. And I ain't finna hold up y'all time no more. Just know that God will see you through. And this too shall pass. And no weapon form against us shall prosper. Let the church say amen. So, if y'all know what I'm going, those are gospel songs to lift y'all spirit up. And Lord, rebuild me. That's by Jay Moss. So I can post songs all day and everything like that. Yolanda Adams, you know, just go go out there just to get yourself in a positive spirit. Once again, this is your boy Landon Prater. I'm here with another exclusive. God bless you.